Today in ASE News, Learn Science, we are going to talk about one of the most important of the psychotic disorders, which is schizophrenia. Stay with us till the end to learn new vocabs and new information, from symptoms to known causes and treatments about this disorder. This is Mason, and my classmate Salah Rostert Herbert from Al Khulaydi Clinic for psychotic problems. Hello, this is me, Salah in the front of Al Khulaidi Clinic for Psychotech Disorders. What is schizophrenia? Schizophrenia means split, and schizophrenia, in this case, refers to the mind. Even though schizophrenia can be interpreted meaning splitting in the mind, it doesn't refer to personality like some multimedia published, but rather schizophrenia describes fragmented pattern of thinking. Yes, Sala. Schizophrenia is actually a syndrome, meaning there are a lot of symptoms may be associated with it, and different patients may experience different symptoms. Symptoms can be categorized into three major areas positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. Exactly, Sala. Positive symptoms like delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, and behavior. Tell me about the negative symptoms, Stella. Negative symptoms are like decrease in emotions that they can express or loss of interest in things they were interested in. The cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia are not being able to remember things or learn new things or understand people easily. So, Stella, after visiting the center and asking the doctors what, what causes the onset of psychosis, they still don't know its exact causes. It remains one of the most understood illnesses today, but there likely isn't one single cause, but a combination of genetic and environmental risk factors that contribute. And how can we treat schizophrenia, Salah? Antipsychotics are usually recommended and they work by blocking the effect of the chemical dopamine on the brain and addition improving social interaction and family therapy may be helpful finally our advice to you today if schizophrenia is in your family and this is especially important for teens do not use drugs because your brain are still developing and you may be subjected to this disorder. Keep strong social ties and learn how to manage stress. Travels during the process of digestion. 
digestion. After being trapped in the stomach for a time, it becomes a liquid that is known as chyme. This is further broken down by enzymes and absorbed through the walls of the small intestine, whose surface area is greatly increased by lots of finger-like projections called villi. Do you know the general direction that food travels during the process of digestion? If you travel solid poo and what began its journey as a tasty meal goes up through the anus as waste material now you know the general direction that food travels during the process of digestion now you know the general direction that food travels during the process of digestion. When ultraviolet sunlight hits our skin, it affects each of us a little differently depending on skin color. It will only need minutes of exposure to turn one person peach root pink, while another requires hours ex uh, to experience the slight change. So, how to uh, took account for that difference? And how did our skin come to take so many different hues to begin with? Whatever the color, our skill is an epic tale of human adaptability revealing its variance to be a function of biology. It all centers around the melanin, the pigment that gives the hair and skin its color, the ingredient that comes from skin cells called melanocyte. When skin is exposed to UV light for a long period of time, the UV damages the DNA within our cells and skin starts to burn. If that damage is severe enough, the cell's mutation can lead to melanoma, a deadly cancer that forms in the skin's melanocytes. Sunscreen, as we know it today, it didn't exist 50,000 years ago. So, how did our ancestors cope with this UV? The key to their survival lay on their own personal sunscreen manufactured minute, the skin melanin. And the amount of melanin in your skin determines whether you will be more or less protected from the sun. This comes down to the scary points as sunlight strikes it. When it is exposed to UV light, it triggers specific light receptors called redoption, which stimulates the production of melanin to shield cells from damage. Humans living at the sun's saturated latitudes in Africa are adapted to have a higher melanin production threshold, giving a skin a darker tone. This helps to protect them from melanoma and making them fitter to live in such places. But although UV light damages skin, it has benefits. UV helps our bodies to produce vitamin D, an ingredient that strengthens bones and acids to absorb some minerals like calcium. And without it, humans experience fatigue and cause a condition called rickets. That's why some of our ancestors produced less melanin in northern areas where less sun they saw, and their lighter skin better absorb the UV light, so they benefited from vitamin D to develop strong wounds. A lot of in interesting information, don't you think? Our advice for you in this episode is to wear sunscreen when you're being exposed 
to intense sunlight to protect your skin from melanoma and to de delay with wrinkles. Our lesson today was interesting. Our miss talked about a scientist. This scientist was born to a wedded mother and was not expected to survive being tiny and weak. He was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, and alchemist. Yes, Hen, the scientist was widely recognized as one of the greatest mathematicians and uh, physicists of all time and among the most influential scientists. He was a uh, he formulated the laws of motion and universal gravitation. He built the first practical reflecting telescope and made the first radical calculation of the speed of sound. And, and now, think with us and send us the name of the scientist through the email written below. Today in ASE News, learning, learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why some of our ancestors produced less melanin in northern, uh, in northern, northern. Symptoms can be characterized okay. when it is exposed to UV light. The triggers specific light response, response, receptors. <laughs> They still don't know its exact causes. It's rewired. It's remain, remain, remain. But although UV light damages skin, it has benefits. You have the microphone. We now have